Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays P1057? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does P1057 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number 0. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Jeep, vehicles, also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two bits again determine the second character. The last bit styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code P1057 interpret specifically Jeep car manufacturers? The basic definition is Tire or axle out of acceptable range algorithm based failures event information. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. Note. This diagnostic trouble code DTC status is an event controlled diagnostic trouble code DTC An event controlled diagnostic trouble code DTC does not mean that there is a fault in the control module when it is active, but is designed as information differential electronic module DEM checks engagement and disengagement of four wheel drive the control module controls engagement and disengagement using a number of parameters, among others, by comparing speed of the wheels if the vehicle's tires are worn unevenly compared front and rear, or if a tire with incorrect dimension is installed compared with the vehicle's other tires on the vehicle's front or rear axle, this may result in incorrect engagement of four-wheel drive. The diagnostic trouble code DTC is stored if the control module detects that any of the wheels on the front or rear axle rotate faster than other wheels when driving on straight road with constant throttle application. The control module's test for the diagnostic trouble Code DTC starts in the event of constant vehicle speed above 20 km per hour, constant engine RPM only, small steering adjustments, brake pedal released, no braking, the parking brake is not applied, engine brake not active, accelerator pedal pressed down. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. Unevenly worn tires compared front and rear tire with incorrect dimension has been installed on front or rear axle compare with other tires on the vehicle. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.